Today I'm going to uh, attempt to wire in the uh, lighting system uh, supplied by Airy. Uh, I think this is from uh, Flying Hobby or Helipel. And this has got the uh, landing lights and uh, navigation lights and some little strobe lights as well. Runs off uh, 5 volts. So I've got a little uh, uh, BEC which I'm going to wire in line from the flight battery and um, uh, place the lights in various positions around the um, 550 for uh, easier navigation uh, when flying in during the day and at night um, because of course as you know if you've flown one of these things uh, when it gets beyond 50 or 60 metres up in the air you can't really make out the, the red arms and the white arms so uh, just by having the navigation lights A it's going to look prettier and B it will be easier to fly I've also moved the uh, GPS antenna. I was having trouble with um, with it. It was located um, uh, closer to uh, the, the onto the main body, so I, it was always toilet bowling, and, and I was having uh, difficulty with um, with it not behaving itself on um, fail safe. So I've moved that. I don't know whether that's actually had an effect on it, but it does. Uh, sorry, whether it's you know whether I'm imagining it's better, but it um, is certainly seems to fly better today than what it did yesterday um, it's a lot more stable and uh, yeah it's um, a lot less twitchy than what it was but anyway I'll get on with this um, modification I'll take a couple of short videos through the process and then uh, show you what it looks like all done thanks very much wiring up the uh, power source this uh, plug here is going to the balance chip lead of the battery uh, these two Plugs here are running the uh, existing LED headlights, um, the, you know, the very bright ones, and this uh, char cable here is going to plug onto the BEC, and I've got to wire another power source uh, on the outlet of there that's an adjustable uh, step down little modulator. It's got a tiny little adjusting screw there to uh, turn the voltage up and down. So hopefully uh, this will work without um, without an explosion uh, happening. So uh, pretty happy with progress so far. And uh, we'll carry okay, on. So as you can see here, I've finished wiring in the wee BEC connector here. Uh, played around with the voltage. Had that uh, hooked up to the voltage meter there, just to make sure it was uh, a true five volts. And it's connected up to the flight battery. Um, which is of course a, a 3 cell 11.1 volt uh, battery so those lights all seem to be operating properly uh, there's a few more to connect up but just at this stage this is a, a great little test um, pleased that uh, I haven't had any uh, little clouds of smoke or sparks yet so uh, I'll press on and finish wiring this up and uh, show you guys the finished product so we've got most of the wiring uh, done now um, we've got the light control unit in place here, the little uh, BEC which has been wired in and line in the battery is mounted down here and the wee navigation lights are uh, mounted underneath the, uh, the wings um, it's green, red and white flashing strobes and uh, as you can see the wiring is just running along the arms and then back into the central hub where they will connect up to these various connectors. There's a couple of little uh, micro switches here <clears throat> to be mounted for uh, operating the lights but um, so far so good. I've been holding the lights in place with a little bit of um, RTV just uh, forcing it into those gaps to hold the wee LEDs in place. It should be able to withstand vibration quite well uh, be a little bit flexible and not uh, impossible to remove if I change my mind or if I need to take them out, the lights out for some reason. The wiring's uh, all completed. Um, as you can see it looks like an absolute uh, bowl of uh, spaghetti in there but um, all the wires are in the right places and everything's connected up. There's not really any way I can uh, tidy this up much, it's just the nature of the beast that much electronic gear in there and uh, to be fair even more due to go in with the uh, IOSD and 
2.4 data link and things like that, which uh, which I have, but I'm just waiting for camera gear to arrive. So plenty more to happen, plenty more to cram in, but uh, looking good, and uh, I'll test the lights out in a minute. Here's the hex in its final stage. Uh, everything, as you can see, working well. It's got the strobes, it's got the landing lights. Very happy with that. So that's going to make that um, significantly easier to fly at night time with all those lights. And uh, of course, it, I've also got the super bright LED headlight as an additional navigation aid. So um, very happy with that uh, install. Um, it uh, really is relatively, um, well, it's not very complex, but you know, there's a lot of wiring, um, quite a bit of soldering. You really want to be a bit careful with what you're doing, uh, wiring up those um, voltage regulators or BECs. But uh, as long as you, you know, pay attention and, and are reasonably careful, um, then uh, you know, great result. So I'll take a, a wee video of this. T tonight or, or at night time in the dark just to show what it really looks like but uh, but so far that, that's really good I'm quite pleased with that